Hey everybody, this is Arathus and welcome to Foundation. So I have played this game before, I have actually streamed a couple episodes. Now the main reason I stopped playing the game is I did everything I could do in the game. There was no more content at the time because this game is in very early alpha. So yeah, there isn't a lot of content, or there wasn't. But recently, like I'm talking the last few weeks, they released a... What I understand, a hefty content update, so we're actually going to dive back in because I know there are a lot of early access, early alpha, in development, city builder, town builder games, but personally I feel like Foundation is the one that has the most potential. Out of the ones I've played, mind you, I haven't played all of them, so yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the game. Well, these are new. Last time I played, it was only hills or coastal. You know what? I like mountainous terrain, but let's see what Fluvial looks like. We might exit out to see what the mountain terrain looks like as well. Alright. Yep, no, I know how to do that. Zoom in, out, move the camera. Ooh. Okay, well... I know mountainous terrain, wow, okay. <laughs> I know mountainous terrain is typically one of my favorite types of terrain, but one thing I never did in the previous game uh, when I played, you know, Foundation before was build bridges, and it looks like we have the opportunity to do that now. And I really like that idea. So I think what we might do is we might start here and then expand to here when we can build when we can expand our first territory. Oh wow. But yeah, no, I love this game. It personally it looks gorgeous to me. There's a whole lot to there's a whole lot of flexibility and stuff. Now, I mentioned before when I played this game originally, uh, for those that you didn't watch that didn't watch it, uh, because it was streamed or whatever. One of the things I really like about this game is just the freeform building when it gets to building your keeps and your churches and stuff like that. And what I'm hoping they add into the game eventually is a is the ability to how do I put this? Fight. <laughs> I want some combat in this game. Because I feel like there's a lot of... Let's put this... You know, let's put this, like, right up in the woods. Um, can't build a well yet, but we can build a stonecutter's camp. Over here. And where is that most vital of... Re there it is. There's our most vital of resources. But yeah, like, since you can build castles and freeform keeps and walls and stuff, I feel like they are going to add combat to the game. More than likely, it'll be a defensive thing, like most of these early access city building games, where you're just basically building a military walls and towers to hold off attacks. I don't see this allowing you to go on the offensive. If it did, that'd be really cool, though. All right, so now we need to assign builders. Hildegard, become a builder. You know what? A couple of you guys become builders. I know you can do it. I have faith in you dudes. Maybe putting that in the woods was not the best of ideas because it's kind of hard to click on it to assign people. Come on. Ooh, I also need to do this before we get started. Extraction zones. This is where you guys are allowed to work. Which means we now have people available to work the stonecutters camp. Cool. We can add people to all these buildings. Yep. Cool, cool. No. <laughs> uh, first of all, you. Max out the foragers. 
add at least one stone cutter and two wood cutters. That covers the main resources. While I would love more than one stone cutter, there are limits to what we can do. Let's put the well. I'd say right here's a good spot for it. Cool. Let me do a warehouse at some point, but apparently I need planks for that. Which means I need a sawmill. Glad to see I remember the controls. Because I do remember the... I, well, I did remember that the... Uh, controls to rotate your buildings are a little odd compared to other games. Uh, in other games, you can just use, like, you know, Q and E or hold down the right mouse button or whatever and move the mouse to rotate. In this one, you got to hold down control to rotate the building. Which is not something I've seen in many other city building games, like that control scheme, so I'm glad I remembered. The well is built, which means our people get happy because they got stuff to drink. But they don't have houses yet. And I'm wondering if they made the housing function work differently. Because it used to be, up here, you would also have a green zone you could put, which is where your people were allowed to build their houses. Now I'm not seeing it. It might not appear till later, though, because I know that there's another option up here called reforestation. Or at least there used to be. Can't say if th can't say if that's changed or not, because the first time I played since the content update. Um, but yeah, once you built a forester's hut to replant trees, you got a reforestation development zone. Okay. But yeah, uh, the mountains seems like they'd be fun, but I really want to build like bridges and. <laughs> An interconnected bridge network here for my people so that's what we're gonna do I also like the idea of one of these isolated islands being 100% let's take a look at territory I can't buy that anyway uh, but yeah maybe you take one of these islands and turn it entirely into our keep area or into our church area come on guys give me this Yeah, we currently have two builders. I'm wondering if I should get rid of one of those builders. And turn them into a stone harvester. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go around a bit more. I do like this territory a lot. Although, I don't think I'm going to expand down into this area for a long time. If I do at all, I kind of want to focus on the rivers. Okay, we have a sawmill complete, but no one to work the thing. Okay. Which means I need to take somebody away from another job. Probably means one of my builders. Henry, how about you become a carpenter? And now I can build a warehouse. I think I'm going to build the warehouse... I kind of feel like the warehouse is a good idea to build over next to the river. I know I could build it up here, but I'm not sure if the warehouse affects, like, desirability for houses. Additionally, I am really thinking I'm going to do what I've done in um, Foundation before, which is take a plot of land that, you know, I'm not really all that interested in developing into housing and basically putting foresters' huts and woodcutters' huts there to just constantly, like, that's all it's there for is to produce, you know, wood. Okay. So, at what point do I get the rest of my buildings? 
I need a surf. When do I get my surf? Two new villagers joined. That is very welcome news indeed. Means I can add one to my stone cutter. And I definitely need somebody working in the warehouse. Ah, they haven't arrived yet. Where is their path? Where do they come from? Ah, there's the road they take. That is being built for the first time ever as we watch. It's more of a path, but still. That is another thing I really appreciate about this game is the natural and organic growth to your uh, farm, uh, to your farms, your trails and stuff. It's really cool. There we go. And I have a villager. Uh, you can store berries here. You can store planks here. Store wood here. And probably stone. Excellent. Unlock a trade route to get tools. Well, it looks like I can eventually once I have some spare planks. It's the only one I think I can unlock. Because that requires bread, which I don't have. And that requires a whole lot more gold than I have. So we need to wait. Then we'll trade with Davenport. Oh yeah, that thing is being filled up as we speak. Excellent. Cool, I can unlock a trade route right this second. So I think what we're gonna do, ooh, I get a free territory. I'll have to do that right now. Uh, we're gonna go to food. Sell all above, I think 100 is a good option. And then we gonna buy, I kinda wanna keep 10 tools whenever possible even though I don't really have a lot of cash for it now we have a lot of territories nearby that seem like they'd be a perfect fit for that wood cutting thing I mentioned like this one right here specifically holy crap that would be good too I'm gonna do this one And we're just going to plop down a couple buildings down here very quickly. Okay, I can't afford you. Can we plop down a well? Because they're going to need a well. And a lumber camp. I think I'm actually going to build... Okay, I was going to say, I think I'm going to build two lumber camps. One up here, one down here. I, mean, I don't even have the forester's hut yet. <laughs> I don't see any berries here. Most of these territories typically have berries, but that one did not. Ooh, might, want, might be time to start trying to earn some gold. Alright. I think I'm going to try to build... This is new. Huh. I didn't know you could combine uh, markets because you see those little white dots on the side for those of you who haven't played the game that's the free form thing I was mentioning before luxury for you know future expandability wow I messed that one up yeah, see, they lock into place on that. And I know I don't have luxury goods yet, but I feel like maybe combining all these markets now might be the way to go.
Hmm. Because if it's like the other stuff, once I say build construction, our, like start construction, our dudes cannot. Like I can't modify this later. So, it's kind of why I'm holding off. But I feel like the luxury good one is the one messing me up right now. Oh, crap. Okay, I can't even afford the base one right now. So, yeah, maybe let's stick... Let's just go with moderation at the moment. Oh. Okay. I feel like I need to make my people happy right now rather than the clergy or the king. This is a new functionality. Deliver 30 in 60 days. How do I do that? Oh, I can do it right now. <laughs> Our people are happy. Okay, I need to use trading right now to get more gold so I can actually build my market. Uh... Let's turn that off. How much stone do I have? Like, what do you buy, actually? You buy planks. Okay, no trade. Sell all above... I'm gonna go with 30 for now. Buy my stuff. Let's go down here. Okay. Extract from all of this if you want. Get to work. I think if they have a job too, they pay more tax revenue. At least I hope so. Because I need the revenue. I know once I get that market until it can sell like berries, that gets me a decent uh, initial bump of food. But I'm um, bump of food, bump of gold. Come on. That trade route needs to start selling stuff. Don't go into the negatives. I feel like I should have built this a lot earlier. <laughs> All right, then. So, um... When do you guys start trading? Are you a trader? I think you're a trader. Cool. 119. Okay, pause the game. Pause the game. Long enough for me to at least... Come on now. Like, can I afford to throw... Maybe with the gold I have now, I can actually throw the goods market in as well. I can. Good. Do it. Uh, because the goods market later on, I know I'm going to need to sell clothing. And the goods market will do that for me. Okay, so things are getting better. Slowly, but surely. We're basically deforesting this entire area, which I'm okay with. Because, like I said, this uh, spot down here, I think I'm going to make, like, the royal forest, basically. No housing is going to be allowed down here, nothing. It's basically just going to be, you know, wood cutting and stuff like that. And forestry. If this game if this game added like a hunting mechanic for food, that would be really cool. Like a hunter's tower or something. I'd put that down here in a heartbeat. Are you my new villagers? Looks like. Okay. Wait, I take that back. 
I need somebody to work the market. Come on. All right, assign a market tender. I only need the one market tender for now to sell berries. Unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Did it? Where? I, I don't I don't see this unlockables. I mean, thanks for letting me know, but it didn't look like it happened, dude. Ah, there it is. Oh, residential zones are now available. Your villagers have reached the surf status. Well, that's that's great. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can I build? I cannot build the forester's hut yet. Forester's camp. Okay, that's fine. But I can now paint a residential zone. Good lord, they do not like the majority of this place, do they? Is it because of the trees or what? I never was too clear on what caused, like our people to be happiest with a certain spot. I think it might be the markets, actually. Either way, we'll see. Oh, wow. Apparently we hit 12 serfs real fast. All right, Forester's Hut. I feel like two Forester's Huts And one logging, well, and probably two lumber camps down here will be sufficient. And the only thing I want to reforest is everything down here. The area up, up in the other hex, not our problem. Not for the reforesters camp. That needs to be just clear cut for development. Okay. Take all this crap down. There you go. I might put another market down here for food. We'll see, though. And it max out this lumber camp, though, so we can finish off this area up here. I should also turn the trade back on. Because I do need tools. Max out some of these other jobs. Uh, I wonder if the game ever added... I see bakeries here and all that. I wonder if the game ever added like fishermen or something. Because with these rivers and stuff, you'd think they would have added that. Uh, in the past, the only food options you really had were berries and bread, really. Well, at least last time I played. Yeah, these guys are finally going to town and clearing this out. Look at all those houses going up, too. That is awesome. Okay. Buildings are complete, but I cannot throw them into effect until I have a new forester. Probably not going to make another carpenter right now. And once all these trees are cut, I'm probably going to get rid of this lumber camp. Now, nice thing about doing that is these guys should remember their job as uh, woodworkers, lumberjacks, or in this case, carpenter up here. So if I destroy this stuff and put it down here, uh, our people could very well, like our people will remember and then just jump down to their new job. So what you doing, dude? My workplace is full. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure there are trees for you to cut down, my friend. But if not, that's fine. Oh, he finally went off to do something. Oh, he's gonna buy some food, okay. Why are you guys unhappy? Oh, you're lacking houses. Well, I'm pretty sure I gave you the option to build your own houses, so... How about you guys do that? Okay, when these two new villagers show up, I can put them to work immediately building houses. Not building houses. Reforesting. But I could also build sheep farms. I get the feeling sheep farms would not be welcomed by the people in this area. So I think I'll put them over here. I'm going to come up here. We're going to get rid of some reforestation. But not a lot. I'm just going to get rid of this chunk of reforestation. Just to kind of leave the sheep farms alone. Uh, dude, I'm keeping it all. You guys want bread. I don't even know how to make bread. I can't make bread without windmills and wheat farms. And I don't have those options. And you guys are taking your sweet time chopping these trees down. Look, I need another warehouse to store all this crap, which we don't have the gold for. <laughs> Seems to be a common theme for us right now. Two more people need houses. Well, get to building the houses then, dude. Like, there is land for more houses. It may not be super desirable land, but it's there. I'll have to see, I'll have to look into it, see what it takes to make the land more desirable. I do want them to like develop this entire area so that should give you room to build houses build houses And I'd really like to fire you guys and send you down here. I never built that warehouse, did I? Oh, because I didn't have gold. Come on. Two hundred for the weaver's hut. Holy crap. And fifty for the tailor's workshop. The weaver's hut is the part that's gonna ugh. That is incredibly expensive. I think we're gonna put a food we're gonna start trying to do the food market down here as well let's do it like right here along this road seems like a good option except I don't have any more of that cloth Okay, then. <laughs> okay, we don't have any shepherds yet. So our trade route. What can our trade route... Again, they really only want... Bread, poli... Uh, sorry, food, pol uh, berries, polished stone, and planks. I feel like... We can do the polished planks... Uh, not polished planks... Ah, uh, the planks pretty easily. It'd be really cool if I could just do a food market, but I don't even have cloth. I don't have enough cloth for that, so we'll hold up on that. Do I have a villager for this yet? I do. And again, I think I've said this on my other, like when I streamed this game before. The sheep are just purely 
aesthetic, I think. Doesn't seem like they do anything to, like, improve production. I mean, you could keep clicking on it and eventually you get, like, a black sheep and all that. I don't remember what that number is, but you have to build up. You have to make a lot of sheep. You guys are almost done clear-cutting this area. Thank you for that. See, let's put our sawmills down here. Good God. You know, I think I may want to also get rid of the reforestation over here. Uh, simply because I feel like this is a good spot for uh, the other infrastructure buildings that I want to build. For example, we need a warehouse. So maybe put the warehouse here. Like this, right along the road. And we need a sawmill. And in fact, I want to put two sawmills up here. And then I'm going to probably put like a woodcutter's hut here and here. You know, scatter them out a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put one over here. I'm not going to assign anybody to that one yet. Because uh, the people that are going to go to that one are the ones who work up here. And then I can actually destroy this one. Because I feel like that should be over here. So we can hit this forest from every side. And yeah, I don't want to take this one down because, you know, they haven't finished taking out all this forest right here. But they're getting there. Come on. I know you guys can do it. Ah, tools. Let's go with 20. Buy these tools. I think a dude's bringing us, bringing us some tools right now. No? Where's this trader? He used to hurry up. <laughs> I don't have a lot of planks to sell, that's for sure. But I'm about ready to destroy this structure, finally. Everybody's got houses, though, which is nice. I really need to figure out, like, maybe I need to put more markets down here or something. That might be a reason to scatter markets then. Maybe put one food, like, if you're trying to hit all the quadrants, put, like, one food here. Put, like, your luxury one here and, like, a goods ones here. You know, just kind of divide the space up. <laughs> might as well. Let's go with wood, let's go with planks, let's go with food. You know what, you can store tools here, why not? Well, wool, actually. We want to store wool here. But yeah, I like this heavily forested area down here. Kind of just... Was that you? Did you bring me tools? No? Maybe? Yes? Be really cool if you did. Because, no, doesn't look like you did. <sighs> okay, dude, you only have a few more trees to cut. 
before I would like you to expand to another territory. Maybe? Ah, few more trees. Like, gold isn't an issue, isn't a huge issue right now, but I want them tools. So yeah, give me a one tool for ten gold. Good lord, okay. That's all he'll buy from me, though. Come on, dude. Let's trade. There he goes. Come on. I am not seeing any tools coming in. This is a problem. <laughs> Lord, this area got forested quick. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have people cutting down the trees. Two new villagers joined. Great. <laughs> Great. I'll help the king. What do you want? You want fish? I don't got fish. But I'm glad I see fish as an option now. I don't know how about how I go about getting it. Well, obviously I'm gonna have like a sheep, not a sheep, a fish, a fisherman's hut or something, but I don't see it right now. I'm gonna need more berries soon too. Yeesh. This would be a good one though, because I think here I can get the berries from here, and if there is a fishing option, you would think this would be a great place for it. So, I've got a, I got enough to buy ten tools. I just need them to come and sell me some tools. Tools. I see you there, dude. Bring me some tools. It's because my places don't have room for tools that might actually be it tools maybe that's what I needed maybe I needed a warehouse to accept tools Well, this has pretty much fulfilled its quota over here. Yeah, we're just hanging on, waiting for some tools. I think the merchant's been coming from this direction. Yeah, there he is. Come back soon. Like today, if possible. Please help me. <laughs> I need this deposit before I can do anything. I, st I can't reach that in the next go. Is there any adjacent uh, iron deposits? No. Unless they're hidden in the trees, which I've had that happen before. Hmm, feels like I might need to go this way to get that. But I am certainly not buying any stone at the moment. Or buying any land. Come on, tools. Oh, look at that. The merchant's back. Might be a different merchant. Whatever. Bring me tools. The warehouse has room for tools. There we go. Thank God for that. Okay. So all these structures can now be built. The three down here that need to be built.
which means I can actually start putting my people to work. Yeah, see, it always produces two, regardless of how many sheep. So, yeah. Now, if you, if you guys want to really make me happy, get this built. And this should be immediately filled by people. Because I have three lumberjacks that are currently out of work. Yeah, there you go. And we have tools for this. And this is done. I don't even need this no more. Uh, honestly, same with this. I can just build this down here now. As soon as she's done building that, construction can begin again. There we go. And I can max out that. Now if we come back over here to a sawmill. We need gold. We don't need tools, really. We probably do need tools to build it. No, we don't, actually. Just stone and wood. Which we kind of have in spades right now. Wow, we lost a lot of gold just now. Oh, because we bought a lot of tools. <laughs> well, crap. Uh, so how's the uh, residential treating you guys up here? No, not well. <laughs> Let's see. Still need another sawmill, so I gotta wait for a hundred gold. Things are going pretty well, though, all things considered. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this whole area is, like, not at all what people want to live in. Uh, are you full up on stone cutters? No. You're fine. Even though, I gotta give him a job. He's just sitting there doing nothing right now. I have a lot of people sitting around doing nothing right now. However, when I get the resources, I'm going to throw down a couple sawmills over here. Because with this steady production of wood coming out of here, I can easily, easily make some trade goods out of that. And then over here, I can put like market tenders and stuff like that. My biggest issue, though, is going to be getting new territory where I can get new food. This is my biggest concern. I mean, I can buy food. I can buy bread. And I can buy fish. Fish are apparently expensive. That dude doesn't want to... Mm -hmm. You just took a chunk of my gold. Just when I thought I was going to be able to make a sawmill, you just took my profit. That is just rude as hell, game. Right here. Build that sawmill. Before anybody else takes our gold, build that sawmill. And if I can get to another 100 gold, I'm going to build another sawmill. And then we wait. We save money so we can buy another plot of land before our people starve. Because, yeah, we need to sell a lot to be able to afford an expansion. And where's my revenue? I'm gone, honestly. Hmm. Either way, things are going pretty well. I just 
wish I could expand if for no other reason than this food deposit over here it's like man I know you guys have stone oh nice sold a bunch of planks Hmm. Yeah, all my warehouses are holding planks right now. Oh, thank God. Build another sawmill? 100 gold, come on, 100 gold, 100 gold. Okay. And as soon as this sawmill's built, we're gonna actually scrap the other one. It's not built anywhere near our forested area, so it's kinda not necessary. Food. You're lacking food? Or is that like luxury food? Yeah, no, we're all serfs here, man. We ain't. <laughs> We ain't got none of that fancy food. You know, bread. Okay. You guys want fish, man? I ain't got no fish. Stop demanding stuff I don't have. And then be like, we need it in 15 days. It's like, I mean, you can need it in 15 days. You ain't gonna get it in 15 days. I might leave this open for a while, actually, because I know we have built, uh... Hmm. I know we have unemployed serfs at the moment. I also forgot I can do this if I'm worried about food. I can put multiple huts to collect from one spot. Two new villagers. Man, does it look like I can support you dudes right now? I can't support what I have. Although we are getting trade goods. Like, we're about to sell, like, 50 planks to the next trader who comes through. 60. And with this constant cycling through of trees over here. We should be good on that for a while. Trade goods. That's where it's at. Now, you guys wanna... You guys wanna let me actually click on this? There you go. Finish this structure. Yeah, I completely forgot that I could, you know, put multiple places produce uh, getting food. Oh, I don't have enough people to fill that up. Okay. I would have thought I did. Turning into a nice city center over here. I feel like it might be a good idea to expand said city, uh, city center and make some more desirable areas down here. Mainly by putting a well in a market. I think if I do that, I'll put a market here and a market here. Because I want one close to this for when I expand. But I want one close to this so the workers don't have to go so far to get their stuff. I mean, our profits are increasing, just not as much as we would hope. And as much as I would like to build more markets, I kind of can't. We do not have the necessary materials. We can start making them once we have 200 gold to build a weaver's hut. But we ain't seen 200 gold in a long time. 
That might actually be a pipe dream at the moment. Hmm. Might be a good idea to make the neck make another warehouse, because if I'm gonna build a weaver's hut and a tailor, I should probably have a warehouse to store the stuff they're gonna be making. At which point I'd probably remove this and let this be clothing, and then the other warehouse would be the wool and the cloth and probably clothing as well. Yo, trader, you said you wanted to buy this stuff. Where you be, where you at? I need you to come buy this crap. Now would be fantastic. It's a fair chunk of gold you could give me if you came and helped me out. Alright, well, if we're waiting for you to come and get these planks, I might as well put another gathering hut here. I don't know at what point they stop they stop being useful. There we go. I put two in the same spot. Like, I don't know how many of these can collect from the same area before the game's like, yeah, nah, you're done. Stop doing that. Oh, gold's building up. Pause, 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 pause. Build the weaver's hut. As soon as we get 50 gold, I build a warehouse. Or the tailor's workshop. Probably the warehouse. Put that warehouse right here. Oh, come on. Give my gold back. I mean, I guess I could build a warehouse like right here. Then the next 50 gold goes for a tailor's shop. Right here. It's gonna be a bit. <laughs> we in the negatives. But we'll get there. Negative 30? Is negative 30 nonsense? Come on. There we go. He just bought some of our planks. Okay, we need more people. But they're not going to be the new people. The new people have jobs already lined up. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, no, all these guys are producing uh, berries. And I think it's because the berries are still... I'll have to double check, but I believe the berry deposits are still, like, infinite. Come on, come on, come on. I want this built as soon as you possibly can build it. I know you're almost there, just do it. There you go. Both of you make that stuff. Pretty sure I can destroy that now. Now where are these carpenters? I have a couple carpenters that no longer have carpenter work. What's your problem? Don't be angry because that's your job. Seriously. 
you know, I'm going to make a couple of you guys uh, transporters. The ones who are lower level carpenters. Where's the other one? There he is. Ooh, you good at a couple things. Well, you know what? You're going to be a transporter now. Because this is fully staffed. This is fully staffed. This should now be fully staffed. Okay, you are going to hold clothing, wool, and cloth. That's it. That is your entire mandate. Is that right there? And once this structure right here gets built, and I have people working there, I'll have the cloth to make more markets. You can now sell clothes if you want. Okay. Making sure all these jobs are filled. What do you think you're storing there, dudes? Oh, wool, okay. Fair enough, now that I got somebody who's actually using... Oh, man, we need polished stone. I can't even make a stone mason hut yet. Do I need another plot of land to go up to commoner level? Villagers are lacking water. What are you making? Just cloth, okay. I can live with that. Man, you guys want fish again. Do I look like I got your ever-loving fish? So I'm going to make two other little districts like this. Water and water. We're also going to go back to the markets uh, thing. start construction on the new market area down here come on guys oh nice okay we can do that now I see our foragers huts are not able to keep up I might have to build a third one I mean, that's fine. I can easily build a third forager's hut. Okay. Market. Want a food one here? a goods market attached to it. wonder if that gives me more desirable residential. The well alone did. So I feel like this is what's killing it over here is this warehouse. Or maybe it is just because the markets have started to be built. I guess I never gave the order to start building this one. I think I'm going to divide this one up like this. I'm going to put them in two different areas. Ooh, I need 20 wood. Oh yeah, that whole area. So it's markets. Markets is what does the thing. Okay. Alright, let's get these markets built. 
our people are going to be very happy and expand their homes. This whole area is now ideal for our people. Okay. And this give us some decent revenue. And then I wonder if that's how we get the commoner level is once I take another plot of land. I feel like as much as I don't want to, I feel like I got to aim this way for the iron deposit. Kind of wanted to hit the river though because I keep getting told, you know, get me some fish by everybody. Do I only have one builder? Good lord, that is all I have. Uh-uh. We're going to need more builders in the end. Yeah, having just the one is not a great idea. There we go. Berries, because that's all we have. And clothing, even though we don't have that. But we're going to get some more villagers any minute now. Right. Three villagers are lacking food. Why the hell are you lacking food? Should not be lacking anything. Well, here come our market tenders. Even though one of our market tenders can't really do a whole lot. <laughs> Let's look at our trade. I mean, they'd buy our wool. I just have to give them food to unlock. I do not have that. So is that another two on top of the two that are showing up? Hmm. I doubt it. Again, berries and shirts. next batch of immigrants will let me finish my markets all right let's see about let's see if buying this plot of land does anything no that unlocks nothing I don't see any fishing options yeah I don't see a whole lot that oh, looks like we're Refilling this area. We good. I just want a stonemason, guys. That's all. It's not even a very expensive building. I actually would like to know at what point we get the next level of people. Okay, so yeah, it also doesn't look like this affects my um, desirability at all either. All right, so now we know uh, three market areas in a town, and you can have the entire hex be ideal. Or maybe if I just built this in the center, you never know. I guess I could try to build a rustic church. That might get me the serfs I need, or make me a commoner. Ah, here we go. When these guys join, I can finish off my area. Hmm. I don't even have a quest going on right now, so I'm really not sure. Yeah, we're not building walls. Hmm. 
As soon as those people arrive. Ah, here they come. Almost here. Do I just need to reach that weekly profit of 500? Probably. I mean, I am working on it. We're almost there. But... The other thing is, we are all out of time for today, so thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more foundation, because I really want to work my way through everything the content update added, and that could be a lot. It may not be so much. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it added. All I, heard, all I know is I heard it was fairly hefty, so we'll see how that goes. Thanks again for watching, guys.